And uh, like I said before, before we went live, guys, uh, since I sadly can't see the chat, whoever is available to for the Geek Butters, please, can you uh, keep track of what people are saying? Yes. Absolutely. I'm doing that right now. Thank you, Thank you Double R, since I'm uh, working on my comic. And I'm occupied, obviously, as you tell. <laughs> that's a baseball. That's a baseball. Yeah, that's me retweeting from Hero Club. Mm, who do I, who am I choose? Hey Kyle! I know! Get, Here's your favorite go ranger! Ahead. <laughs> go on! Come on! Uh, Get it so over fun. with! This is gonna be fun. The best! <laughs> the best! Gotti looks like... Gotti looks like Slamboo's counterpart from Street Sharks, the cartoon. Johnson. Yeah, that I is Johnson. Say, I, I love that show too, well, was good. Yeah, Wooly hates it, but I don't care. I like it. He hates that, yeah, he loves fucking reboot. Come on, man. Oh. Uh, hey, Star Child, welcome to the stream. So, hey, welcome, Star Child. Yeah, he said this is a game he had. Mm. What, so you got rid of it? Well, yeah, I mean, like we knew back in those days that those games become rare. Hey, we, we have putty patrols on motorcycles. Who would have thought? Oh, wow. And Hero Club's in the chat, too. Hero Club for life. Oh, it's either metal or wheels. Yeah, it's either like one metal. of those, too. Oh, that was a good dodge right there. You almost got hit by that car. Now, these are the Putty Patrol that have the medallions on their chest, and if they were struck by those, if their medallions were struck, then they instantly get vaporized by the Rangers. Yep. Oh, dang. Eh, oh well, it's not that bad. I still have two lives left. Because it's one of those weird games that, you know, you can have, um... See if I can, uh... It really says two lives, but you really have three. Yeah, it says, this time of day, it's Metal Wheels is in the Odin sleep. And there it is. Yeah, I remember that, uh, this, this game is actually a bit more difficult than, uh, the, the previous game. Oh, yeah, the prior game was more for, like... This for baby's first um, side scroller, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying this isn't, because it is too of how simplistic the uh, combos are. But... Uh huh. This game looks more fun to me, though. It I is, know, it's don't like... get me wrong. I'm not saying oh, it's okay. a bad game. Yeah, that, it de definitely when, when you have those two separate planes you can jump between, it definitely reminds me of Guardian Heroes in that sense. <laughs> not that, but there's a better <laughs> spike in difficulty that's compared, that's compared to the, the game that was played last week. Mm hmm. Oh, you're fighting uh, the Shredder's droids from Ninja Turtles. <laughs> no wonder it looks so familiar. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you got the Putty Patrol as the Foot Ninja. Yeah. And no wonder why they're... Dro oh, reuse, uh, reuse sprites but different color palettes for yeah, the NPCs. I see someone took a page from freaking Arxis uh, a couple decades before Arxis was even a thing, huh? Mm -hmm. what's, what's Lord said doing okay, in that was cool. uh, You're right. Lord Zed attacking in a movie game. <laughs> it's like he's... It's like he just doesn't even want to acknowledge his punch What Rocky's, when Rocky does his default punch. It's like he doesn't even look at it. It's like he doesn't even want to acknowledge his strength. Yeah, but you know what's kind of cool, guys? I, when I uh, switched from the um, upper plane to the bottom plane, I actually jumped right on that uh, flying uh, minion. Hmm. I, it actually took damage, which I liked. I thought it was actually kind of cool little detail. It's a little things. Little things. There you go. Morph in. Morph. Morph into that shit. Uh, you see the chat? Yes, I'm still seeing it. Uh, it says, I've a news. Who's that? Uh, wheel. I mean, uh, Metal says. <laughs> she want to? I think we already know who that is. 
<laughs> and Sierra Club says, auto mod this. <laughs> right here, oh my god, auto mod. Remember, yeah, last week, remember, like, it kept mm -hmm. blocking things and I just wrote F you <laughs> Yeah, and then I tried it and then it automatically blocked me. Oh. Yeah, Yes, you did. Yeah, yeah I, want, I want to continue. Why would you ask me that? Why you want to ask me that question? Come on, man. Do you, do you want, oh, do you want to continue man. on, the first, on Lim the first stage? Yes or no? What do you think? Limited continues, man. Oh, God, they suck. Well, of course, it starts you back at the beginning of the stage. Well, these old okay. games and their limited continues. I was about to say yes. that, dude. It's just like these were games that were, you know, designed to be, you know, rented sporadically. That's why. I don't. I still don't understand. Like, they want you to rent it over and over. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because they they want your money. Yeah. Well, it's, that's the sad thing. I hate when people say, especially with the whole gamer game thing, is like, oh, like they're like. Corporations were never greedy. It's like, really? Yeah, they are. <laughs> really? It's like, come on, man. Game developers and publishers and freaking companies in general have been greedy since day zero. Have you heard about the BS Nintendo pulled Start. back in the late 80s, early 90s? So, uh, the chat says, uh... Crispy Promore images uh, for Hero Club. And then, uh... uh and then Metal says, punch the Z's on their chests. Starshot said, I used double planes in Fatal Fury 2 to cheat the game. Wow. Oh yeah, yeah, in the first two or, I don't know, no, I don't think three had it. But the first two had the plane switching. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh yeah, I remember that. I do too. That was, that was kind of revolutionary for a fighting game at its time. Yeah. Even if it wasn't that, you know, great, If it, even if it, that wasn't that long lived. Right. <laughs> oh, that 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 stupid putty got hit by a car. Well, what do you think? They're stupid putties. <laughs> of course, mindless puppets. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, what do you guys think about um, Hasbro announcing that they're actually making a new uh, Power Rangers film? In is it is it going to be a sequel or a reboot? I think it's gonna be a reboot. I just don't see them doing a sequel, especially with how poorly the mm -hmm. box office was, you know what I mean? Right. Especially how it bombed. Like, people don't realize it bombs in, you know, China, which is shocking, to be honest. Oh, yeah. It's like the equivalent of, like, a game bombed in China. Then that's really bad, because China is the biggest market in gaming right now. Well, yeah, actually, they, they actually ever since uh, consoles have been on band, yeah, I agree. They're mm -hmm. more prevalent as a uh, mass marketer. Mm hmm. <laughs> it's, it's like those those putties that don't get attacked. They just stroll through the uh, the supermarket and they're like, oh, look at all these foods. Look at all these clothes. I'm gonna. Ooh, I'm not gonna even fight. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to. Uh, I'm just gonna stroll along. I want to be. Uh, I really love the Power Rangers. I just want to show my love for them. That they, they those potties must love Rocky because they think he's the best. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Toy and Thor. funny how they're doing uh, promotion of their own brand. It says Bandai right at the top on that sign. Yep. Shameless plug! Well, this is Bandai we're talking about, so it does fit. I, I know. <laughs> Even though they aren't a publisher, I mean, it is funny. Mm-hmm. I mean, you see Platinum do that with their games in this day and age, especially when it comes to Bayonetta and Wonderful 101. They always have to have. They always have to plug themselves in some way if their logo shows up at some point. Yep. I didn't know it was. I didn't know it was any tech in fucking uh, M and movie. Who knew? Who um? What's chat say? 
Uh, quick, change the channel. Zangief, 1993. <laughs> Street Fighter movie. Yep. Funny enough, a better movie than MMP or the movie, right, guys? Yes. And Bison Opus. I, I, I love the 95 that. film for what it is, but... Yeah, I think in some ways the reboot was somewhat better. Bloody Star Chun Lee? Star Child says he remembers a, a neighbor having a Power Rangers game. Oh, on oh, you 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 mean the Power Rangers the movie? Yeah. So, oh, okay, I thought you were talking about Street Fighter the movie. No, it's like, yeah, Street, God, no. Street Fighter the movie is the bad movie. So double R. Star Child says he remembers like a, a game on Saturn. Do you? Um, burgers at, at as health pickups must be a Japanese dev making an American game. But, uh, Do you have oh, no it, it, uh, never mind, had a Power Rangers game on Saturn or something like that. I don't remember one on the Saturn. But then again, I'd never played, uh, uh, I never owned a Sega Saturn. Oh, Mirror Maniac, the first boss in the game. So, kind of looks like, I like to think that when you're fighting this boss, you're actually going up against, uh, Mysterio from Spider-Man. Yeah. Oh, good. You you just only had, like, one thing of health left, dude. So I was like, oh, you threaded that needle. Okay, uh... Metal says, break him so Kujaku can come out. <laughs> Wait, when did this become TMNT the Mayhem Project? Oh, when they're riding the speed... Well, they never rode the speedboat. They they rode on well, surfboards. He put hashtag Dire Ranger, so I, I understood it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, Dire but, Ranger, if you guys don't know, that's where the white suit in Mighty Morphin comes from. Oh, yeah. I see. You're playing as Johnny on Bosch. Yep. Frog. Although I do, I do like him as Adam in this, you know, in the uh, Power Rangers. Oh yeah. Funny how he—that was like his first role he became famous for before becoming more famous with Ichigo Kurosaki and Bleach. Well, not that, but wasn't he? Isn't he also the voice of um, of Miro too? From DMC. From what? Del McCry. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, Nero. Del McCry, yep. Uh huh. He's also currently the voice of Zero in, for Mega Man X. Yep. And, and he's the main character in Adachi in Persona 4. Oh, and, and he plays the voice of Artemis in Sailor Moon and Viz Dubs. Uh, Viz Media Dubs uh, dub of the how does show. He, how does he do in that uh, redub from this? I like it better. I, 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 I pretty much like the, the entirety of the voice cast a lot more than I did with the one that we got all those years ago. Oh, well, that's good to hear. Metal said, uh, Tri Zed has an aircraft carrier. Okay. okay. And then Star Trial says, Trigun. Yeah, yeah, he's a Trigun. Oh, yeah, he was bashed this damn Yeah, he was bashed. Yes, he was. Yep. In fact, uh, a little, little tidbit of me, that's how I found out that he became a voice VO after uh, MMPR Let's um, Hmm. And you get burgers for power up, so it's like uh, it's like uh, the Wolverine game on the NES. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all about burgers and beer. If for all, health, the health, this game. Who knew? health power ups. <laughs> Metal is right. That's how you know it's a Japanese game, because Japan. That's what Japan thinks of us. We're just like races at all, right, guys? <laughs> oh, oh, they, they can't be racist, though. Shh, sure. But again, we are we are equally racist to them. Because what what is our interpretation of Japanese? Oh, they just love sake. Just sake and rice balls, right, guys? Ted, yep. And and they and they really enjoy those lucky cats as uh, dolls. Oh yeah. That's right. Speaking of Lucky, 
I can't wait to ask people if they want to play a game of Lucky Hit again. Oh yeah! <laughs> Do you want to play a game of Lucky Hit? <laughs> oh, be careful. Yeah, I know. Those putties in the background. Look like a bunch of smoke bombs that they're shooting at the... Uh, shooting at you. Yeah, it looks like it. gonna try now. Try Billy? Billy? Oh. The pacifist. <laughs> well, look at Billy right there. He's the, uh, he doesn't even need a pile of that bow. He's just standing on top of it like it's nothing. Well, his uh, sprite animations are still the same. As he still acts as the 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 cowardly fighter. Yeah, the only thing that was was uh, changed to a sprite was just being a little bit more detailed, right? I think so. And the yellow putties are crawling on the ground. So who knew that this was Metal Gear in disguise? I'm like, who cares at this point? <laughs> if it's from Sony, nothing screams a good idea from that. Well, proof, look at the last decade and a half they've been doing with Spider-Man. No, Thanks, that, Amy but... Pascal. Yeah, well, not that, but also with all what's going on with Venom, too. I mean, it's... That, that pissed me off, the, the way how they, they... I thought they were going to make that a rated R film. Yeah, because God forbid a Spider-Man character can't be in a Ray R film, right, guys? Ugh, God. You know, I hate to break it to you, but you're going to be in a world of uh, crap once you introduce Carnage. Yeah, and I was about to say, damn you, A.B. Arad, for still having strong influence with Spider-Man to this day. Does he? Uh, I would think so. Because I thought it was Amy Pascal, because I know she's the second uh, producer on the... Uh... Well, I know, but uh, Avia Rad still has been with most of these Spider-Man movies under Sony's belt. Okay, and uh, Metal says, R.I.P., Johnny. And then Star Child says, which movie? And then Metal says, they still use Wimp Billy in this game when he has Buff Billy by this point. Or when he was Buff Billy by this point. That's true. Oh, yeah, he did get buff. Even seeing that's quite funny enough. Yeah, it was, uh, it was also very sad that uh, David Yost got in, got got a lot of flack for being homosexual oh, later on. Yeah, I know that really pissed me off when he was being ostracized because of it. Mm -hmm. Not from crew members, but for even even from the cast, it's just like who the hell cares? Mm -hmm. it's just, he's still a human being. Like, exactly. Yeah, Jason they were Frank's a great guy, right guys? This is why I don't like Tommy Oliver as the leader of the Power Rangers. I mean, this is the same guy who said, Oh, blam that piece of crap that was the fan movie that came out a couple of years ago. Well, you were the Green Ranger. You did get uh, mind controlled by Rita Repulsa, so that just shows you how weak, uh, feeble and weak-minded you are as a human being there, Tommy. Yeah, at least Jay that that's why Jason still successfully managed to kick your ass at every opportunity he got. Even though the show wanted to go for that whole shtick that, you know, they both were like on equal terms with each other, but really? 
equal terms just because Jason David Frank is, you know, he's uh, an MMA fighter. Well, at least Lee LeBride said at least he's a better fighter than freaking CM Punk ever will be. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, it's in the name. Punk. Yeah. Wonder, I wonder how bad he would do if he went up against somebody like Brock Lesnar in UFC. Oh, he'd be dead if it was either him or Bobby Lashley. Yeah. I mean, even Jerry can agree with that, too, because he's, he's a mark for WWE. He's so yeah. Okay, uh, Metal says, Winning on the e SNES-based five-pack Hasbro, and, uh, and then he also says, it's rust, red, recolored four times. Wait, what is? It's just red, recolored four times. Oh, it's just red, or it's, it's just red, recolored four times. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah, it is. Remember, because mm -hmm. that's what they kept doing with the sprites? Yeah. yeah. And uh, they still hate each other to this day. <laughs> to this day, I know. Oh, cool. You leveled up your ranger to let him use his uh, power lance. Yep. Nice. And, 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 and I just I just came back, so I just noticed the metal said, they're using Whip Billy when it, he was Buff Billy by this point. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yes, true. he was. He, he was the more confident Billy. Yeah. Started to get some better confidence. He was the better fighter Billy. I don't know why they're using Whip. Oh, okay. I thought it was a Nope, you're just standing on top of the boxes. Yeah, no, it's just, it's one of those effects that you can't tell if you're standing on the foreground or you, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, like, yeah. Yep. That's the one thing I hate about old, old games from the 16 to the bit or... Well, there was no way to do proper 3D back then, unless they had the Super Effects chip. Mm -hmm. Especially if, especially if you had to rely on scrolling. And... Oh, yeah. Well, scrolling made it better. Oh, but yeah, like... but still. Still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it was not fun. It was not fun. And, and, and guess what had good scrolling? That said, yes. Yeah, okay. Yes, it did. It had damn good scrolling. Yeah. But you know what? It was even gooder. That's not a word. Better. Cannon top. Now oh, you're fighting a guy with a cannon on his head. To save the uh, the PC engine. Oh, yeah. PC engine especially the, 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 CD, the CD version, especially. Yeah. Had really good... Unless if you were uh, playing a game like uh, Hagane for the SNES, which we showed you, that looked like it came from TurboGrafx-16. Oh, yeah. PC Engine, yes. Mm-hmm. I forgot the American name. Yeah. But yeah, Hagane was one of... Yeah, yeah, Super Nintendo had good scrolling, too. Yeah, exactly. Oh. It's time to duel? Man, it's hot in here. What? Man, it's not raining, man. I can open the window. Hold no, on. No, it was, but it was raining earlier. Maybe that's the reason why. You're still gonna torment me, I see. <laughs> What's the matter, Rocky? Why are you trying to be like Tarzan when you're standing on top of the boat? Like you're trying to beat your chest. Apologies for fan noise. I just turned it on because, uh, you know, it's, it's I don't want to. Wait a minute. You said fan noise, but there are no fans screaming in the background. <laughs> One of these days. Yes. One of these days. Oh, One yeah. of these days. Yep. One of these days, we'll have fans outside our window wanting to be a part of the show. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll lease that, that building downtown and I'll make it a new TGF headquarters. Uh, that'd be like our that 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 would be like our new today show where we're the hosts and everybody's in the background. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> I can see that. I can. That's the scary thing too. I can see that too. I I can see people with signs too, like cows, Jeff, oh Kyle. Which yeah. Kyle? Good cut. Yeah, the good one. GK. Not, 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 <laughs> yeah, not BK. There's a reason so why we call him BK, not you. Oh, did you did you speak of downtown? In, in my adventures of simple errand taking four hours today. <laughs> uh did you know the KFC came back? Really? 
Yeah, I, I did not know they reopened it. Are you talking about downtown Springfield and Boston Road? No, no, that's not that's not downtown Boston Road. Downtown as in downtown. Where... Oh, okay, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Bus station and yes, all that. Yes, that one. Okay. Wow, that came back. Yeah, it's it's next to a CVS, which where we had to go. Oh, nice. No. Colonel Sanders felt very sorry for all those people who don't have a KFC over there in Springfield, Massachusetts. Yeah, exactly. We, we, we didn't. Ha that was our only one. I'm like, what? You gonna call? No, I'll bring it back, son. We did it. And the colonel, and the colonel was like, Jerry. I hear your pleas for chicken. Jerry, I am more than obliged. I am more than happy to oblige. You know, we need that chicken. Chicken. Now, when they morph in the levels, do they morph automatically? No, I'm not, it, it's I'm, an option. It's not like it's not like the uh, the, the game that was played last. Oh, time. okay. I wasn't what, sure because it, it, looked, it looked like you know, it looked like that at certain points. It seemed like you were morphing up the same spot every time when you tried to go through that those particular stages over again. No, that's why I was bringing up. Um, it's the X button that needs that needs to be that needs to trigger the uh, the, morph, the uh, transformation once uh, the power bar at the bottom is uh, completely filled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You okay? Yes, apparently, but yes. Okay, either you were ready, you were ready, you were ready about to fall off, or you probably saw a spider, or probably both. Uh, my phone was about to drop, and I do not need it dropping. Oh, okay, yeah, so close we enough. don't want that. <laughs> I was close enough. Yeah, you were actually falling in. My, my aunts are sending messages to me on Facebook because I posted a picture of my mom and they're like, Oh, love you, love you, love you, love you. Okay, I get it. He's like, yeah, I got it. We know. We're family. We love each other. Yeah, yada, yada. Right. Yeah. You, you can... Uh, uh, I got I got the message you, only one time. You don't need to say it multiple times. I didn't even have time to freaking react to that. Oh, Ooh. I opened the Twitch app on my Mac. I hope it doesn't, you know. Yeah. I, I hope it doesn't still got... what you're trying to say, right? Yeah. You guys posted in the Discord. I know that. I saw yes. it. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me see if the uh, CFN. I'll post it in CFN. I post on CFN. Oh, you okay. did? Yes, I did. Wow. Oh. And Cypher Den doesn't. Um, Frieza's Dank Army lets you, if you show who you are. Yeah, I was able I to. I, I was able to uh, post the past on uh, Cypher Den's uh, Discord. Now I can. It's asking for a verification of a uh, phone number. With her, she changed it. Oh. She 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 doesn't let nobody. And now you got to have a specific role. Really? Tip. Yeah. All of a sudden. Oh, what that blows. I, I looked up in the announcements, it said, uh, let me read it, uh... We currently are working on updating our promotion channel, and you can't post there until... You can't post without the Vault Dwellers role until we finish updating it. Well, that sucks. So at least it's temporary, but yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, let's hope it's temporary, because, you know, one of it's temporary and the next is permanent, you know what I mean? Again, I hope that ain't the case, but you understand why I'm coming. I know, because, yeah, because yeah, there's plenty of people that want to see. Because Cypher, you know, she, she likes helping people out. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping... Where, where, where's the Geek Fighters? Here we are. <laughs> I was about to say, where's the Geek Fighters? We're right here, streaming. <laughs> But I know, you're looking through Discord, right? You were on Twitch. Or on Twitch. Yeah, I was talking about Twitch. Cause we only have like three or four viewers and I'm like, Twitch mm -hmm. puts the least viewers down your list of follows. Mm -hmm. like a... Oh man, that, oh, man, they only give you a limited amount of time to use your yeah, weapons. Yeah, it's just, it's a limited upgrade, yeah. Really uh, that's weird. lame. Oh, you're streaming at 1080. Oh, is he streaming full HD? Yeah, and my, my Mac is like, pfft, can't compute. 
Yeah, yeah I don't. I don't. I, I don't use full 1080 oh, anymore. I just stick with uh, 720. Did you die? What do you think? Ugh. See, it's it's not well, it's not hard in do in all due fairness. It's hard in you know the sense of it being monotonous. If you get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like it's it's hard in the sense that it, you want to pull your hair out. You get what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Not anymore. All right. There's Mr. Oliver himself. Tommy Oliver. Yes. Oh, by the way, guys, can't, since I can't see the stream, has anyone um, chat? Update yeah. the chat. Uh, metal. Metal said, "Dang, Twitch." And I'll thank you for the update, dude. Because uh, next week when we next week and well, the next time when I stream for you guys on TGF, I'll change it from uh, 1080 to uh, 720. Yeah. Yeah, because 1080. Because remember when I tried to watch your streams and uh, oh, it yeah. it doesn't. Doesn't quite and, show for me. And then here, and then uh, Metal said, "Dead." Deed. Yeah. Deed. D e d. Dead. Dead. You gonna win this? I hope. Yeah, not only time, but time. So. Wait, here we got Tommy Oliver looking a lot like uh, Guile from Street Fighter. Don't, don't joke about that. They probably stole the asses from Oh, hey, Tommy. So, unfortunately, somebody already took the America Ranger gimmick. That's Carter Grayson. Mm hmm. From one of the better seasons post MMPR. Mm -hmm. Light, Light Speed Rescue. Like, I. I is, is Light Speed considered an underrated one or an overrated one? Uh, underrated. Like, I, don't, I mean, I, I don't see what. I wonder what Metal says, but, uh. Because I'm curious. It, and the metal says, uh, JDF mode engaged. Because <laughs> the only, I'm not gonna lie, the only one that I really despise from the, uh, Fox Kids era was, um, Wild Force. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people do. Well, it's, it's, yeah. it's not the fact that one of its main themes is, you know, Saving, saving the earth, that type of stuff. It's just, it's, it's just so hand-fisted. Yeah, it is. So basically, it's, um, it's over there. Mm -hmm. So it's basically Saban or whoever's trying to be like Captain Planet in a sense. Yeah, of yes. Of Power Rangers. Yes. And and Captain Planet was, and oh my god. Like, like seriously, there's, there's, see... there's, there's even stuff that other environmentalists were like, no, exactly. that's not. <laughs> like, I, yeah. I'm not even joking. Like, if you want to see a better interpretation of what Wild Force should have been, Jungle Fury. Jump, I love Jump. I don't care anyway, sis. Like, Jungle Fury Metal was a better attempt than what they tried to do with uh, Wild Force years ago. Uh, Metal says, I didn't know Jason David Frank ha had such a barrel chest. <laughs> no, yeah, yes. Because well, he, he, paid, in MMA. He, asked, he asked the Bondi guys, make sure I look good. Too far in, he probably did. Mm -hmm. Can't make me, just like just like a Vince man. Gotta make Roman look strong. Dude, Bandai you know, with told Gotta make gotta make JDF look strong. I just realized something. <laughs> yeah. That's the reason why I don't like freaking JDF. Because it reminds me too much of freaking CM Punk. This is oh, my yard now. Funny you should mention that they they had a beef, JDF and CM Punk. Well, you know the old saying. Uh, people usually like people always. People who don't like to look themselves in the mirror usually hate themselves, right? Well, yes. Yeah. People, people hate the people that remind themselves of themselves. Yeah. Like seriously, like I I'm kind of disgusted. I used to like CM Punk as a wrestler because just looking back at his whole motif, he really shouldn't be called. He really should be called a punk. He's more of a you know what compared to that of uh, LTG. The proper term is tap. Star, Star Child said, I always liked Captain Pollution. He had a better color layout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, there's a continuity here. Why does he have his uh, white, white sword suit? Yeah, I know. Shouldn't it be green? The only, the only thing I liked about Captain Planet was um, Gaia, except she was voiced by Whoopi Goldberg, and it's just... 
And the kinda crazy thing is that didn't even sound like Whoopi. Seeing such a like hot chick, then all of a sudden you see like Whoopi, hear Whoopi's voice out of that, and I'm like, what? <laughs> okay, that was a cheap, that was a cheap kick, come on. Oh! You, you just saw what happened, right? Yes, I saw that. Well, the good thing right here, see? I can get her one up, so that's good. Uh, I guess I should, I, I guess I'll have to stick to my phone version, because that way I can see the chat at least. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chat say anything? Uh, no, nothing new. Okay. So I didn't miss anything. Yet. No. But you know what? Thank you for telling me, guys, because you know what? Next time when I stream, not only uh, TGF but my stuff too. I'm definitely gonna, I'm definitely gonna bump the resolution back down to uh, 720p. Because I knew something was up. Um, because one of the guys who recently followed me on my uh, solo channel. What do you say? Correct logic. He said the same thing that you have issues with. That he can't watch 1080p 60 frames. On yeah, because a lot of us have. Because 1080 is only good if you have like builds like Double R has. Mm. Yeah, yeah, but but even but even still, I don't even use uh, 1080p in my streams. Not anymore, at least. I mean to watch like like. Oh, well, to watch, yeah. But uh -huh. that's a stream, yeah. yeah. Like a lot of uh, like only guys like you and Double R who have good PCs can even watch 1080p. Which is ridiculous streams. when you think about it. A that kid of, didn't even touch me, what the hell? There's a lot more people like me than I, than even I realized. <laughs> Who have cheap old computers. <laughs> did, you, did you see that kid? That kid didn't register me yet, I got hit. Yeah, I saw that. Now uh, that's cheap. That yeah, is you can cheap. tell that this game is definitely inferior to the previous one. I uh, know that, but it was, a, it was a cash grab, obviously. Oh, of course, because it was supposed to be made for the movie. And you, you figure with somebody like Natsume, you would hold them to high, better standards with a game like yep. this. You would think. But Bandai was like, Mao, Diddy Mao. Uh, any, uh, any, uh, uh, oh, what's that movie called? The one I just referenced there with Diddy Mao? D any Deer Hunter fans out there? Yeah. Ooh. Oh. And that was my last crash, so I have to go all the way back to the first level, guys. Sorry. Bart, game Bart, over. I'm sorry, what did you say, Jared? What? No, what did you say? I didn't hear you. Don't worry about it. Some, Bart Simpson said, what part of D.D. Mal you don't understand? <laughs> All right, Star Trail says the only thing I have to say about CM Punk is that even his friends are suing him now. He I was heard. an he was an entertaining wrestler, but he's kind of got the Bret Hart syndrome. He thinks too highly of himself and his own ideas to the point that he alienates everyone around him in in a way. Well, to be fair, like I think he's worse you, than Bret because we kind of saw the facade. Yeah, exactly. That's what I think. But, I, think, but I know what he means. But I, I know what he means. Yeah, I know like, what he means too. I, I think but... Bret's better. N not as bad as Punk at all. Yeah, I mean, like, but, but I still know what he means because Brett does have the thing, and Punk oh, really yeah, has the thing where they think they think they're the best. They're, they're a big mark for themselves. Mm -hmm. I mean, like how and, he used uh, to be called Mr. WrestleMania, right, Jer? Hey, Sean. Yeah, Sean Michaels. Yeah, uh, heartbreak kid. But he's right though. Punk, you you think getting beat beat up in the UFC would humble Punk? But no, he's Dude, still, his name he's still is CM Punk. It's like, bro, you just got your butt whipped. You still acting like this? What, you need another butt whooping? Dude, that's like... It's, well, yeah, it's like it's like uh, the punk that we know in freaking uh, the FGC. He, oh, the God, he, funny enough, that's why he named himself Punk, because he's a fan of punk, CM Punk. Oh, she's no wonder he's a punk. Oh, God. And, and look, yeah, he acts just like him, yep. And uh, Metal says, back just had to just had to up something for the road to PMC this week. Yes, which I could have sworn it was this weekend. Yeah, I could have sworn it was this weekend too, dude. Well, well, I, I mean, I'll, I'll play. Well, fighting. we we all we all know what to sing if we ever saw that guy uh, play any matches in the FGC, and of course that song is "Somebody Getting Fucked." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Somebody getting fucked. 
least, I mean, even though it wasn't American, at least the Westerner won uh, uh, Evo Street Fighter. Can I just mm-hmm. say, I was happy that Punk lost at Evo last year. Oh, oh yeah. At first, I, I wasn't, but then I looked more into it. I was like, oh, crap. No, like, I'm glad he lost. No, no, you deserve that, L. No, for real. Like, this dude, no wonder he's called Punk. It's in the name. Literally. Yeah. And, and funny enough, I, my respect for Sonic Fox went up. Dude, my respect was... I have more respect for Sonic Fox than I'll ever have for Punk, dude. It's, yeah. Like, seriously, it's just, like... The nerve of the usual suspects in the FGC, most likely, sadly, from a certain uh, subreddits. Um, you know, these are the same guys who who uh, trash BB Tag because, oh, it's just a copy and paste. No one's gonna play that. Metal says, ASJ must be part of the Nexus. <laughs> that would explain a lot. Austin St. John, yeah. But going back, uh, but going back to CM Punk, I knew something was up with him when he supposedly broke kayfabe all those years ago with that pipe bomb. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, I'm not, on, I'm not on the programs. I don't have my own ice but, cream box. Who gives a crap, dude? You're a superstar for WWE. Except that was, uh, that's what they call work to choose. Yeah. Right, but you get what I'm saying, right? Like, whether, it's, which, that, whether that was real feelings or not, it's just like, bro, you're still part of WWE. It's just like, what the hell? Well, Taking a look at um, Adam's getup, th- doesn't it kind of look like he's a Dragon Ball Z character wearing that getup? Funny enough, yeah. Well, it's a getup. Uh, it looks like he has those Chinese shoes on him. They look like he should either be Krillin or Tian Shinhan. Why did Funimation come up with that name? Tian Shinhan? What the heck? Funimation. That he was just known as Tian in the uh, in the original Japanese version, what? right? No, Ten Shinhan. Oh, yeah. Ten Shinhan. Okay. And, and 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 the pun is 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 um, that's the Japanese way of saying the Chinese food, Tianjin Fun. Ah. So, but Funimation made things real confusing by saying Tian Shinhan. So it's wrong either way, in Japanese and in Chinese. Yeah. Like, then... I don't know why 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 Funimation went that route. You know, Star Child says that was a good angle, but WWE messed it up as usual. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, just like how they oh, did with something worse. I freaking I uh, mean, Sting, right? Look, look at Oscar now. Yeah. She was awesome. She had her streak. She had, and then now Oscar's a joke. I know. As soon as she went up to the main roster, man. Ugh. Uh, actually, what's going on with Shinsuke Nakamura? Because I heard there's been rumblings going about that he might leave. No, nah, he's U.S. champ now. Oh no! I thought he was leaving because of um, his uh, contract. That, that, that was a, that was months ago. I I heard that. I remember hearing that. Yeah, but no, he's, he's U.S. champ. He's doing good now. Okay, good. I'm now, here. now Starshaw says, "Lol, his contract is up in January." Well, there you go. Yeah, that, that's what I was bringing up. I don't know if he was going to be having a renewal or. That, I mean, right, right now he's U.S. champ. January. Yeah. I mean, it, it, that's. Well, isn't that when it's... Wrestle Kingdom happens? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Makes you wonder if it goes back to New, J- New, uh, New Japan. Where wrestling is actually more fun to watch than WWE these days. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. That's, that's an understatement. I, I just wish that if he was if he was going to go back to New Japan, if only WWE could just make... Oh, of course, Vince, Vince... It's probably Vince's ego. I can't let him go back to New Japan saying he was a former world champ. No. Just yep. make, just make and, you know, I, I, and I think Jay, uh, Jim Ross even said it best about New Japan Pro Wrestling, or especially when it comes to Wrestle Kingdom, is that it's innovative. The, the fight, you know, the fights, they're innovative because they actually use moves that you wouldn't expect to see in, like, WWE or, like, back then in WCW. Mm-hmm. And it actually treats itself as professional re- wrestling, not sports entertainment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, like, like Stone Cold even said that. Like, he, he said, like, look, we know it's a work, but you got, like, but it's, you know, I want to believe it's a shoot. Like, I want to, like, put put effort into it. Like, you actually are believing, like, it's an actual athletic competition, which that's what New Japan does, yeah. That's why like, I like it. That's what that's been going on go with both uh, Bullet Club and uh, Kenny Omega since the start of this year, right? 
<laughs> I love it how the I love it how the speedboat it says bass on the side, <laughs> just to give it the indication that it's actually a bass boat. <laughs> yeah. Sick, second bass fishing, man. Yes. Oh, yeah, we're on Super Nintendo. Yeah. Oh, bollocks. Oh, well. I'll do a live. Now that, now that we should do for April Fools. Mm. Oh, Sega, Sega. Yes. Yes. Uh, don't they have that on us? Uh, don't they have that on PC now? Yeah. We, we should, we should hype it up, say the greatest game ever, and then like you know, like the most hype commentary, like for what, man? Yes. Sega Bass Fish. And Bass. and we we, sh we we should act as like either Hicks or Rednecks during that stream. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, I got the best. I got the best suggestion. Jo have John join us as a special guest, since he has a perfect yeah. voice for that type of. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, because he has, he's, uh, he's done that voice before. Uh, yep. We're not gonna say for what, because <laughs> yeah, we don't want yeah, to get banned. Yeah, I, I, I was about to say for. Oh, oh wait, yeah, no, I don't want to get banned. Let's just say for um, research purposes. Banned yeah. by Twitch. Yeah, 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 that's it. Research purposes, right, guys? <laughs> guys. <laughs> Starshell says something interesting. Yes, uh, WWE is aggressively trying to get all of the top indie foreign wrestlers under contract to keep the off, keep the other companies from expanding. That's why they have a bunch, a bunch of big name indie guys being jobbers in WWE. They are just buying them up to hold down the revolution. Lol. Well, it's that not, sounds like it's Vince. not wrong because that's true because that's how that's what Vince's motif has been since the nineties. Yes, uh, true. that's that's pretty much why he bought out WCW. When they had the yeah, when they yeah. Mm-hmm. Again, I find I find it funny that we always whine and complain about you know companies becoming monopolies in the gaming industry, scene, but not when it comes to anything else. Yeah, right. yeah, when it comes because to sports, ugh. I'm disgusted that WWE has not been rightfully sued for being a monopoly. Exactly, man. I know. You think they would be? Well, then again, they probably won't because of, you know how great a ties McMahon has with uh, Trump. You know what I mean? I think that's the reason why it's good. Oh, yeah, he well, does. Well, it's not just that, but. Well, I think it has McMahon something McMahon to does... do with it, I'm just saying. You know what I mean? That it's just that tired. McMahon. McMahon just doesn't want to, uh, you know, have his company go under uh, honorably. Oh, he boo just wants to be... shit happens. He... Yeah, I know. He just wants to be. He just wants to be a greedy cuck, if anything. Well, that's how, he's, that's how he's been that way since, like, what? Since the expansion in the late 80s, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Killing off the territories. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are, you are doing your father a disservice, Vince. Him, 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 do, him doing what Star Child said he's doing, which is true, is basically what he did in the 80s. He's yep. buying up all, all the big stars of the other companies and making sure they're all under him and he's in. Because mm -hmm. Vince has this thing. It's been said over and over, even by people under him, like JR. Vince has this thing where if he didn't make you, you he doesn't like you. Like if you're not his idea, mm -hmm. and you came from another company, he he doesn't like you. He doesn't like it. Oh, so mostly yeah. if he didn't if he didn't build you up, you're trash basically. Yeah, pretty exactly. Much, yep. Pretty much why that that's pretty much why the tag team duo uh, Public Enemy didn't even really uh, stay around WWE too long after they went there from WCW shortly, and then they went back to WCW after that. Starshine brought up something. Uh, companies are coming up. Uh, the companies are coming up, though. New Japan is clearly a better product, and ROH is expanding into bigger arenas, and smaller promotions are banding together. So it's a good thing. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. He's not wrong. He is not wrong. But it's a shame that this didn't happen sooner rather than now or then later. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I get you. There. Yeah. Just imagine, imagine if it happened during around the WWF uh, Attitude Era. No, you mean WCW? No, no, no. I'm saying when the W. Remember when the WWF Attitude Era was like at its peak, like in the late '90s, early 2000s, when it was still doing that crap. Mm-hmm. Like it would be interesting to see how, if there was still a lucrative uh, market, to see how competition would have been. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Because it's even even, even then, with both. Um, WCW and ECW it was still a very small niche. Uh, in regards to, uh, no, WCW was huge. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying even like yeah, it was. ECW, right? Say again. Sorry. I was I was saying more like with ECW. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, oh, you got, yeah, you got great people on there like Rob Van Dam who know how to put on a good show. RVD, yo. He knew how to put on the good show. He was the whole effing show. As he yes, was he was. Yeah. Uh huh. And you know who ruined the whole effing show that was ECW? Vincey Boy. Because you know who debuted after WWE acquired ECW for their run? Kelly oh, Kelly. Oh, Kelly Kelly, yeah. Oh, yes. It's like, and that's sad that people want to take her seriously as a wrestler, you know what I mean? Yeah, she married a, a, a hockey player. Oh, she married a hockey puck? Hockey player. <laughs> <laughs> hockey puck. <laughs> <laughs> She basically retired. She's like, I want to live off his money. Mm, I wonder why. Which WWF uh, diva back then was considered your waifu? Mm. A lot of people I'd I remember as, as a mm. kid said Trish. Uh, it, for me, it was either Trish, Stra Trish Stratus or uh, Lita. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, that thing between, Trish, uh, between, between Lita and freaking Matt Hardy, that was... Yeah. yeah. I didn't know I didn't know about that until freaking um what culture wrestling brought up in one of their top ten lists. It's like Holy crap, I didn't I didn't realize it was that bad. No 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 wonder that Matt Hardy had a condition. It would explain uh, a lot. Star Child said uh WCW would still be in business if it hadn't been for the AOL merger. Ted that Turner wanted to keep right. it, but the AOL merger took power away from him. Yeah, I forgot I about totally that. I forgot about that. That's right. Yeah, thanks for the timid, uh, Star Child. I totally forgot about that. You definitely are getting your mojo back playing this game right now, Jeffy. <laughs> what? What? Not, not to Jeff, but you said Jeffy. Yeah, saying. what? <laughs> oh, all right. You think I'm ta I'm referring to him as the puppet from SML? <laughs> no, we're thinking of something else. We don't want to say. I, I smell food. What's funny is I I smell every time my mom makes chicken, but every time I smell it over here, it smells like pork chops. Well, why should I go over there? Somehow. Pork chops turned into chicken. Somehow she's like, what do you mean? I was I was making chicken. It smelled like pork chops mm. over here. Oh, Adam, don't get your ankles uh, cold and wet. We're in snow. Look like a skeletal rat. What, oh, yes. Hells yeah. We're, sno we're snow surfing this, uh, this beast. It's also called snowbirds. Yeah, it's also called snowbirds, too. I know. If, if they were snow, if if they were actually snow tubes, would they actually be uh, much, much better or much more fun? Mm -hmm. Ooh. I smell. Watch. I don't know. I smell. I smell. Pork chops. Legit. You smell pork chops sandwiches. I smell pork chops and or spare ribs. Dude, watch. Oh, watch. Good. When I. But watch when I eat dinner. It's it's just chicken somehow. Somehow. I jumped. Chicken and rice. I jumped. You jumped. No, watch did the you BS. jump? Did you really percent. jump? Yes, I did. The game's like no, but did you? <laughs> did, and I jumped again. You? What the heck? Cheap. Ah, oh, game over. But you still have four continues left, right? Yeah, but still. But yeah. Dang, man, this game was. This is one of those games, like like Streets of Rage Three, huh? Mm -hmm. Where they, they up the difficulty, about that, keep, Jerry. keep renting. But at least, but at least in all fairness, Streets of Rage Three was the better game when compared to this. Oh god. Well, yeah. I mean, that, that's one of the best brawlers. I mean, dude, no contest. E even mm -hmm. even people who don't like. Yuzo Koshiro's experimental music in that one still say it's a better game. Like, mm -hmm. I do, because it's about robots, so of course it would sound all robotic. 
Because that makes sense. Because you, yeah, you, go, you don't know what he was doing. People are like, oh, it just sounds weird. It's, it, I don't like it. Yuzo <laughs> was trying to fit the mood of the game, and he did it fine. Which why is, is why setting. why is it that when Rocky he is riding on the snowboard and he has his fists uh, at his chest, it looks like that he's trying to hold his nipples. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, Jeff. Uh, I mean, don't I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna touch that with 24 pole. Uh, I was gonna say. <laughs> hey, I did. I oh. didn't. Oh, I, hey. didn't make, I didn't make him look like that. The game did. I know, but still, I'm not touching that. <laughs> Double R, you remember uh, what's that game called? What's that movie called? Uh, with Adam Sandler, when he when he was a demon. Oh. Uh, oh God, what was that movie? Little Nicky. Yeah. Yes. Hello. <laughs> Your nipple comments reminded me of that movie because of that one weird guy. Oh, oh God, yeah. That was played by John Lovitz, right? <laughs> yep. No, no, not Lovitz. It's some other dude. Yeah, it was, it was Nicky's father, right? No, it was some oh. random dude that Nick, that Nicky found that he would keep pitching his nipples. Little Nicky. Oh, yeah. And, and he was just like, oh, good luck with that. Ooh. I'm gonna tweet. I'm gonna tweet one more time from my personal Twitter, because I see where I like it. Like two, three viewers. I'm like. Well, we went back to. We went back to four. Oh, there's so surfing. Yes, surfing in the river now. For for reasons that will never be explained. Now we just need that sewer surfing level in uh, Turtles in Time to play in the because background. Because that's continuity, right guys? And since when did fish explode? They're, uh, they, they, they've come from Robotnik, that's what. Or from Dr. Wily. They're fish spots. Stupid rocks. Ha! <laughs> I got it, because the play is rocky. Oh, great, now we got even more hazards. And I'm done. Great. <laughs> ah! You almost sound like a hack on there. That was perfect. Yeah, it was. Yuck! Yeah. Now that sounds like Hagar too. That should sound like Cody. Oh, oh yeah, it's got to be deeper for Hagar, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Your first one was was Hagar, and then yeah. The second Hagar. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Whoa! Mayors are all talk, but now Hagar even, now that's is even deeper all Hagar, right here? <laughs> Double R, I'm gonna ask you to see the chat because I'm sure Starshell saying something because he's he's a big. Hagar fan. Oh, yeah. How Did he... dare you hurt my Jessica? Speaking uh, of... Did, did, uh, he didn't say anything yet? Speaking of no, public, he hasn't said hey, anything Hey, Jerry, yet. how about that hit game from 2005 known as Streetwise? Oh, man, you know, I, 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 I don't know if I pre-ordered it. <laughs> but, I, but I do know I got it day one. Oh, uh, God, why would not you? Oh, man. I feel sorry for you, man. Oh, Star Child, he, he did say something. He only used Hagar in Final Fight. He only used him in Final Fight. Really? You don't even use, like, Cody or a guy? He says Streetwise isn't bad. What? It has bad problems, but I can see where he's coming from. I, I can see, yeah, because it wasn't unplayable. No, it was yeah. playable, uh, but just, just yeah, bad problems. Yeah, I, I suppose that's true. Especially some stuff that made no sense. It had, it, it had, it had stuff that was just made me go, oh, then it had stuff that made me go, okay. Like fighting Andore and Camus, secret bosses. That's cool because, you know, Final Fight and Street Fighter are in the same universe, so that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. But then it had weird stuff where it tried too hard. Yeah. Like, like especially, uh, like, like the story didn't make any sense. 
<laughs> no, that, but pulling that, doing that play of trying to pull uh, a double dragon at the, at the end of a streetwise, right? Yeah. And and also uh, Cody having a last name. Travers. <laughs> yeah, Travers. <laughs> which which actually is 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 still his last name in in canon stuff. Well, in the main continuity. Wait, it is. Because. Yeah, yeah, it actually is Cody oh. Travers. Now. Wait, yeah, so, yeah. so 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 Streetwise is canon? No. No, it is See, not part all, of the that, that's, all that's, and that's why I was confused. No, no, that that's why I hate the word canon. That's why I, I've caught myself. Okay, so because for future reference, the what name, should I be The using? last name, Cody Travers, is part of the main Street Fighter Final Fight continuity. The last name Travers, but not but the events of Streetwise did not happen in the main continuity. Oh, okay, well, that's good enough. Um, but but uh, what should I be using for future reference instead of canon? Continuity. Continuity? Okay. Um, so like saying, instead of canon, yeah. say the continuity of so-and-so, right? Yeah, exactly. He says, how I, I can see how the drug aspect put people off as well. Yeah, that part mm, was dumb. That made no damn sense. Because at the end, you had to fight, uh, spoilers for an old game. 20-year-old, more than, no, 10. 14? Four, almost 15-year-old yeah. game, yeah. So spoilers for a decade old game and more plus decade plus when he, uh, at, at the end you fought Cody as like a drugged out zombie That was kind of weird <laughs> Yeah, and you and I think the final boss was actually in relation to Belger oh, Yeah, yeah, first. That's yeah. Right. Somehow But it, uh, but when he said the drug aspect in a game it, he definitely he definitely made me think of uh the the game Narc on PS2 and Xbox. Yo, yeah, that's right. Because it wasn't just about you being a cop taking down drug addicts. You were actually being a drug addict in that game. Which is hilarious. When you you ever play? Hard. I like the original arcade more. Oh yeah, yeah. the original the one, arcade game. Where was you just a, had a, yeah, shoot a people and arrest them. Yeah. Yeah, you just shoot at them. The first time I saw that game was not in an arcade. Was not playing it myself. Was not somebody talking about it. It was in the first Ninja Turtles movie. That's right, because, because the only oh, was in Dark. the first movie. That's right. Yes, in the, in the yeah. Shredder Slayer, yeah. Yeah, 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 somebody was playing Dark. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, I remember that. Star Trust at the end of Star uh, Streetwise, you fight a guy on top of a building and it was pretty hard. It's the TMNT lol. Yeah. Yeah, and the Dark, first Ninja Turtles Dark. Yeah, yeah, I, cause I, I remember, I, I, I totally remember because I was like, what the heck is that game when I was a kid? No, that, That's but awesome. it, was, it also had the future MCU villain, uh, Sam Rockwell in it too, right? Yep. But yeah, they were, I remember Tatsu, go play, and then they would play Narc. Yes. Yo, Tatsu was more of a better villain in that movie than friggin' Shredder was. And he only appeared in one game. And that was uh, the Hyperstone Hyper Heist. Yep. Yeah, I knew he was about to say TMNT. <laughs> but yeah, but Shredder was such a joke. That's Star Trek said. Especially, how he, especially for how tough of a supposed villain he was, he gets thrown over the side of a damn building, really? They. What's funny is they still gruesomely kill him in a way. I know, with even the though, uh, garbage which, disposal truck, yeah, I know. Which... Which, because I was going to say they want to make it more PG, but they still kill him because in the comics, Leonardo just runs his sword through him, and that's it. Yeah, it's, it's like the equivalent of <laughs> seppuku, right? Leonardo just stabs him. Yeah. Leonardo said, I'm going to see you about you, and he stabbed him. And no, that, but that was the first issue, too, funny enough. Yep. <laughs> and Starchild says, nah, Shredder was a good villain in the first movie. Oh, yeah, of course. the second movie was worse. The second movie was worse. But still fun in a cheesy sort of way. Now the third Kevin movie Nash. on the other hand. Yeah, Kevin Nash is Super Shredder. Yes. Third movie, which now I have on where it went. Which I rewind every day when I watch it. I go, I go, ha, ha, ha. That's so funny when he fell in the water. <laughs> yes. That horrible edit shot. I know what you're talking about. I know which one you're yeah, talking about. I always, I always rewind that part because I can never stop going. Oh, when uh, Walker hits the water mm -hmm. after he falls down. Like near the end of the movie. I know which scene he's but, talking about. When there's a goon that tries to attack um, Raph. Or is it Mikey? One, one, one of the turtles. Yeah, one of them. 
and they flip him over and throw him in the water. The screen. <laughs> So terrible! You I, got I, the I, Wilhelm I, scream, right, guys? Yeah. What did they? What, did they use the Wilhelm scream on that? Yeah. Oh, real? Yeah. That was that was Jim Henson's fault. Star Child said. Blame stupid ass Jim Henson for Team and T two fiasco. Oh yeah, that's right. It was. Because if you, because uh, didn't we talk about like uh, what was supposed to be in Ninja Turtles two? If they were supposed to continue on with that. Uh, that continuity of it being a dark film series that Peter Laird envisioned. I, I think I think we talked. I, I remember bringing it up. Jeez, yeah, guys. because we were talking about it in Discord once, and it's yep. like uh, that Professor Perry in that movie was actually supposed to be an Utron. Utron, yeah. Really? Come on, man. We could have gotten that instead of the finalized product too. That sucks. Yep. Because it, because the Utrons kind of bring up also the you know the galactic side of uh, TMNT like with the tri the, tri the mm -hmm. Triceratops. Mm-hmm. And of course Armagon. And Ray Filet. Which you know, I'm really surprised that they're that those uh, characters actually got more recognition later on in later incarnations or later continuities of the Ninja Turtles franchise. Yeah. I, kind of, I, kind of find it crazy, I find it kind of crazy that they actually got um, uh, the original VA for uh, Mikey from the movies to uh, voice uh, Mondo Gecko in the 2013 incarnation. Oh, mm. no Robbie one. Rist. Jim Henson was being a little. Oh, Star Child explains. Oh, I think. Yeah, I forgot really, about Jim? That. <laughs> That Jim Henson was upset because of how dark and violent the first film was. Oh, come on, really? That's why they lightened it up in the second film instead of going for the actual cool stuff they had planned. Yeah. Speaking of which guys... Like, well, Jim, it's it's a good thing you're not seeing movies now, like Blade. I know. Or better yet, Deadpool. Yeah. Like, Blade, Deadpool, you thought, Dragon... Yeah, you thought, you thought that was dark, please. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> I had a little movie that came out a couple years ago called Kick-Ass. Yeah. Remember a movie called uh, Frank Miller's Sin City? That was dark. Yeah, exactly. Like, Jimmy, Jimmy boy, if only you knew that that wasn't dark at all. I know. <laughs> but yeah, I guess I'm, I'm, being, I'm being more equipped for tonight. I feel you. I mean, don't get me wrong, I had, a, I had a blast playing this game. Yeah, I, that's that's what I, I, I even told, like, I'm surprised Double R went all the way to beat it, which I that's know. above and beyond, because... Mm. Like I told both of you, like you don't have to. I'm not holding you to. Well, that, that's that, that's the thing. It's like I'm more I'm more used to the uh, game that Kyle played uh, last weekend compared to this one. Like I barely even touched this game as a kid growing up, to be honest. I well, I, I never got to. Even though I always wanted that game, I, I never got to play. You it know, it, if you wanted to, we could have. You know, if you didn't feel comfortable with this, then if you wanted to play no, the so Sega Genesis game. version, no, then. Cool. Cool, man. Sorry. Uh, if, but... Oh, if you wanted to play the Sega Genesis version, then I wouldn't have had a problem with that. Again, it's all right. Don't worry. It's I, know. Right. Uh, I know. I know. I <laughs> know. But anyways, um, to people in the chat, to people who are watching uh, either sign in or unsign on Twitch, thank you very much for joining this week's uh, stream for uh, TGF. Uh, once again, we did this as a promotional stream for both our boys over at um, Bird Club and yep. their upcoming coverage for uh, Power Morphicon next weekend. Mm-hmm. So look forward to that over at hero-club.com. Uh, as for me, uh, you can follow me on twitter.com slash 16 bitchf um, On my end, Darks of Streaming, I do Tuesdays and Thursdays, 3 p.m. And Saturdays at noon. On uh, Saturdays, I stream on my end, uh, Blaze Blue Cross Tag, on Tuesdays, Tekken 7. And on Thursdays, I think I'm going to do a little potpourri in regards to uh, the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection for the time being, because I really don't have a concrete game for that day, so... Well, Expect that complete... day to subject to change, basically. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, twi uh, twitch.tv slash 16 bit Jeff. Um, I don't know if the uh, feed is still up, so if you want to keep updated to my end of what's going on on schedule wise, uh, please keep <coughs> an eye out for my Twitter. Uh, but if you like my stuff and like what you saw through TGF, please click the follow button on both my channel as well as TGF channel. Respectively, so we can do more of this and get more hands up with doing this for you guys because we love doing this every weekend and every day that we do it respectfully. 
Um, that was it for my end. Uh, how about you, Jerry? Anything to plug? Well, uh, double R. Go first. Okay. Okay. I, will, um, I just want to go last. You can follow me. Uh, I will be streaming tonight at uh, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. I'm going to actually be doing another JRPG on my channel. Uh, it's actually going to be a redux from one of my uh, from one of my past uh, uh, past games that I actually covered on my YouTube channel that I'm now going to be covering on my Twitch. And I decided to go back and play Chrono Trigger again. And uh, and this time I actually got the PC version through Steam, so we'll definitely see how well that goes. And it definitely has the uh, the t the two extra innings. Uh, endings in that game, you know, kind of like the DS version. So I figure I might as well do a clean slate or do a redux of that uh, live stream series on my Twitch page and then uh, go through all the endings from there. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing that as I'm still taking a break from Octopath Traveler on Monday. Uh, I won't be streaming tomorrow night because I have to be in at work tomorrow night at midnight, but I will be back uh, Monday night to uh, return with uh, Project Cross Zone, so be sure to be on the lookout for that as well. Um, if you like me as a content creator, oh, by the way, my Twitch page is twitch.tv slash reviews. Uh, if you like me as a content creator, follow me on youtube.com. Uh, my URL is youtube.com slash reviews. I do reviews, retrospectives. I archive my live streams from here on Twitch onto YouTube, as well as my side quest videos. Uh, if you like social media, Follow me on Facebook.com slash reviews, or follow me on Twitter, where my handle on Twitter is at reviews. Whichever social media site that you like uh, visiting, then you can be rest assured that I will be posting on both sites at the same time. But anyway, be on the lookout for more content coming from me in the future, not only from us as the Geek Fighters, but also from me in the future on my end that you won't find anywhere else. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, tonight's stream with what I play tonight, and I'm looking forward to... Fighter Chaos playing through Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Fighting Edition next week. So uh, we're a little over halfway done with uh, our coverage for Hero Club on Power Morphicon. But hey, at least we had fun. And I'm definitely looking forward to a great ending for next week. Definitely agree. Uh, how about you, okay. Fighter Chaos? Anything you want to plug? Oh, definitely. Follow me on twitch.tv slash Fighter Chaos. That's twitch.tv slash Fighter X A O S. On Monday, I'll be streaming Skyrim again. And on Friday, I have no idea. <laughs> it, it always changes. It's usually a retro fighting game or beat-em-up of some sort. But um, who knows? It, but on uh, Monday, check out for Skyrim. Fridays, it could be anything. It could even be, like, I don't know, Fortnite. Um, but who knows? And also, from my Twitch.tv page, follow all of my social media. And it's pretty much the same everywhere. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, it's all Fighter Cows. Um, there's a few weird places. I just got Snapchat back, and I made that before I started calling myself Fighter Cows everywhere. So that's a different name, but I don't use Snapchat that much. Unless I'm traveling. Unless you care about that. But, you know, every important thing is under the Twitch page. I have links to everything in the panel part. They're all clickable banners. Speaking of clickable banners... There's one under this page that I want you to join. All of us want you to join. That's our Discord. Scroll down. See that big red red and white banner that says TGF? Click that, and you'll be, t be taken to our Discord. With all that said, Fighter Cows, hope to see you on all of our streams and our social media. And we'll see you next Saturday for Fighting Edition, which I'll buy a take over for once. Mm-hmm. We saved the best one for last for you, Jer. So, for me, I'm 16-Bit Jeff. I'm Double RPG. And I'm Fighter Cow. And we'll see you next week for the finale to our coverage for Power Morphicon with the gameplay of Power Rangers Fight Edition gameplay by the head of our group, Fighter Cows. See you guys next weekend. You guys have a great remainder of the weekend. Have a great night, and we'll see you next time. Same time, same pa channel. Later. Pa peace out. <laughs>